Now, one thing I may have been wrong about in a previous video where I said we won't have access to a fighter when we were discussing the pace of combat, when people were saying it was slow and I was basically saying, well, it's slow because you're going to be flying a relatively large ship. I think that will mostly be the case, but now this could be concept art that, you know, it could be something that was an idea, but you know, you know never made it into the game. Or this could be a, a fighter that different governments will have and different organizations will have. And, you know, maybe we won't have it because you have to remember as the character, we, we pretty much know we're going to be an explorer, okay? But it could be that if we get the right kind of ship, we could actually have access to a craft like this and maybe store it on our larger ship. Like maybe you might be able to put it in the ship and then a door open up in the ship and then maybe you can fly right off the ship. That's just a theory. And to be honest with you, I don't think that's going to be the case. However, uh, there is some tiny indication that I could have been wrong about that because as you can see right here, this is clearly a small fighter craft. And also we have to remember that this is a Bethesda game. So though it may not be exactly scripted for you to have a small fighter craft like this, maybe you can steal one. Here's keeping our fingers crossed. Another thing I was wondering about is how many weapons we'll be able to carry. Now, a lot of you may not like what I think is gonna happen and really what I personally would like to see happen is I don't think we'll be able to carry a ton of guns that we just pull out like we're David Copperfield, like we're a magician. You see one rifle on our back, you see a pistol on our hip, but we can also pull out weapons you can't see like rocket launchers and mini guns. I don't know why, but I've been looking at the video of combat with rifles and every time I see the character in combat or just carrying a rifle, it's a rifle that looks like the rifles that's stored on the side of the, the uh, Sometimes there are tanks on their backs. Oh, another thing I noticed too is a lot of times when you're carrying, when you have a tank on your back, which looks like it's giving you some kind of air supply, it doesn't look like you can attach a weapon to those tanks. I also noticed that whenever I see that, the character doesn't have a rifle. The character always only has a sidearm. So I believe there'll be situations where we'll only be able to carry a sidearm depending on what the circumstances is. Now, if, you, if you're someone who does want it the old fashioned way, I mean the old Bethesda, way where you can have all these weapons but you just can't see them don't panic because i could be wrong there was a couple of things that i did notice like you can see here the character which is supposed to be us i guess we're shooting someone that has a tank on their back and they're carrying a weapon now it could be that maybe it would be a better choice for you not to carry a weapon in certain situations because if you if you don't have anywhere to store that weapon maybe it's a situation where that would actually affect your endurance or your stamina so if you could bear with me just a little longer, I'm going to point out something else in some of this old video footage. I think this was the original showing that also indicates to me that I could be wrong. Now, this was an early showing and it doesn't necessarily mean that everything you see is going to be a final part of the game. One thing I noticed, by the way, is that this whole cutscene seems to be the landing cutscene. And it seems like you're going to be able to arrange for Vasco to deploy with you before you even land, because if you'll notice here, he, he just comes out with you so you can plan that uh, before you even land. He's ready to go. So you, you, you more than likely don't have to take him with you all the time, I'm sure. But you can go ahead and just uh, pre-plan for him to, to come out with you. That looked like just one whole cutscene. And now, if you bear with me a little longer, I'm going to point something out here. Because you remember I was saying that on certain characters, I didn't see a weapon. They only had a handgun. But it could be that, you know, Starfield in many ways is just going to be like many other games, not just Bethesda. Let's, let's not get it twisted here. A lot of games do it. So you're going to see here, he, in fact, you know what? I just know I didn't even see the, and, and I didn't even see the handgun. He just came up with it. But, and that's one of the reasons why I say we don't know if this is, how representative this is of the final product but you see he only has and there's nowhere to keep a weapon right okay so and then you see here he's going to mine now we did not see a mining device he didn't have that so that had to come from somewhere but i go back again and i state that 
this was a, a, a demo uh, showing of the game. So they were just trying to give people, people an idea of what it would be like to play the game. Now you're gonna notice something else here. You're gonna notice a little Hocus Pocus, a little magic act that's reminiscent of many other games. You see there, that, that just popped up right there. That's the mining weapon. Okay, now he has a handgun again. Now he has a rifle. We did not see that rifle anywhere. So that's why I say it is very well possible that I could be completely wrong on my theory uh, regarding weapons. So if you do like the old way, if you like the way that most games uh, do it, which is, you know, you can carry 15, we 15 weapons and plus a whole lot of other stuff. And uh, in other words, playing around with the, su uh, the suspension of disbelief. And, you know, look, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. We all do it. We know we all do that all the time so that we can enjoy John Wick movies and numerous video games. But hey guys, look, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one right here because on this subject, talking about what we want in Starfield, how we think it's gonna be imagining Starfield, we could talk for hours and nobody wants to look at a video for hours. This one is actually going on a little bit longer than I anticipated. But hey guys, look, if you like this video, please like it. Comment down in the comment section. Stay respectful. You guys have been doing really, really good when it comes to that, including people who seem not to really care about the game too much. But I appreciate that from all of you guys. And hey guys, as usual, oh yeah, share the video please, because you know the YouTube algorithm is a killer, man. But hey guys, as usual, we're close up on the weekend. This will be my last video. Uh, this, is, this video is gonna take me through the entire weekend. Hey guys, as usual, stay safe.